दिल में मेरी सांसों को पनाह मिल जाए तेरे इश्क में मेरी जा फना हो जाए It's a little late in the day, but uh, is it kajal or kajol? It's kajol. Kajol. Yes. I've been calling you kajal throughout the film. Well. You haven't corrected me. I didn't feel like correcting you at that point of time. <laughs> you know, interestingly, when I heard the script the first time, I the script got over. I really loved the script, and I said, uh, "There's only one person I can see in in the role of Zuni, and that's kajal." Kajol, <laughs> and uh, there's only one problem. Uh, if she's in the film, I might not be in it. I don't know whether to slap you to say thank you for the compliment. No, and then uh, I said that if she even hears that I'm in the film, she'll say no. So how are you going to get us to? Such a high opinion of me. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I never thought actually we'll ever get down to working together. Yeah, it seems kind of impossible, right? It did. It did at that time. <coughs> yeah, it did. Because uh, we're supposed to have completely different styles of acting, or working at least. Well, I have to say, Amir, that um, I have to tell you a little trade secret, which I don't know whether you know as yet or not. Okay. But your first take is the best. It is. Yes, it is. So I mean, we've had this huge conversation, Kunal, and we already discussed it and all. And your first take is usually your best. Well, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> But I don't go for that many takes. What, what is your experience? I mean, people. Uh, have these, I think have these that stories about I do like 50 takes and all that. Is that what you felt? <laughs> Maybe a couple more. We're on TV now. <laughs> no, but um, I think for sure that you have chilled out. I think you're much more confident now. At least that's what mm. I look at it as. Right. And. Um, more relaxed. Yeah, you're cooler. <laughs> More nerdy that time. Huh? What is your first impression of me? What is my first impression of you? At that time. At that time. I didn't have an impression really. The only impression that I wanted to make was my finger marks on your neck at that point of time. But um, beyond that, I thought that I still do think that you are completely 300% into your job yeah. and a little too into your job. So it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, I like you. Besides that, <laughs> despite that, you're not such a bad guy. Well, my impression of you was was quite pathetic eh, to begin with. Sounds I, familiar. I, yeah, I I kind of felt that you're really uh, brash and difficult to deal with. You can say brat. It's okay. Brash. <laughs> and then um, after after doing Fana, it hasn't changed actually. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> no, it has. I I I. It was a real pleasure working with you. I have to say. Um, I really enjoyed it. I mean, I'm very few times I can say that I, you know, I had such a good time working with my co-star. Thank you. Yeah. Ditto, and vice versa. I really thought I'd kill you within the first schedule, but surprisingly, we happen. both survived, huh? I think we both kind of grown <laughs> older and more mature. Perhaps. Yeah, we matured, and I think, um, despite it, I think I have to say that. Even I had a really, really good time working. I was surprised, but I had a really, really good time working with you. Thank you. Tell me, how do you how do you approach? Uh, I wanted to ask you this, and we've not had this conversation actually, this kind of conversation, even on the sets of of the film. Um, how how do you select a film to begin with? A yeah. first and foremost, it has to be a good script. Otherwise, I won't do it. Simple. And then, and once you've selected it, how do you approach your role 
or your character how do you go about working on I think it? I want to ask you that because I'm more instinctive you must have it down pat by now I think you're more scientific about it logically I'm sure you've thought out all the steps so please tell me exactly how that goes I'll tell you but first <laughs> tell me na. I'm very I'm telling you I'm instinctive what I like I go by gut if I like it if I really really like it if I think it will work my gut says yes go for it i go for it yeah but like once you said yes to the film and there's <clears> like <throat> maybe 4 or 6 months before we start shooting it hmm. do you think about the character do you i mean not like you don't sit down to think about it but if you're i do sometimes i think about things like oh you know if when we do this particular scene exactly what i'll do or maybe i should keep my body language like this so once in a while but i'm hmm. not a conscious planner like that so now your turn well i like to get into the head of the character that's what i try to do and and when i get that then everything else flows from it sometimes i don't get that right till the end of the <laughs> shooting <laughs> i'm still searching uh like uh, in how, but how do you, no but how do you choose a film there are three things that are really important for me script a uh, director and and a producer uh, only then i do a film only then i say yes to a film no wonder you've done only one film in 5 years <laughs> <laughs> I But you also like all all these rumors say that you know you sit in on the editing and you're like really like into uh, it even post production. Do you do do you actually times, do that? At times, yeah. If if I'm invited in with, by the director and producer, then I do. So have you sat in on Fana and cut uh, my road? Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, no. Actually, uh, Fana, like everybody's been claiming that you've cut my role or as it is. Kaha <laughs> yar. But uh, Kunal and Adi called me to see the film and and they uh, they. wanted a response of mine so i saw the film then i sat with them for about maybe 4 or 5 days giving in because when i saw the film there was not not much that i had to comment in any case there were very minor things that i had to make but i gave my inputs whatever i felt and what they liked they took what they didn't like they didn't okay i want to ask you a question that um do you do a film for its commercial value do you do a film because you think that it's going to do well or do you do a film because you feel that oh i know it's not going to do well but i'll still do it anyways I think I've done I've I've done different films for different reasons. Honest very very honestly speaking. Uh there have been times when I've just loved a script and I have had grave doubts, you know, about the practicality of the film, about how well it will do at the box office and you know how people would react to it. So that would be a very iffy situation. But like for example Lagan, I just loved the script and there were so many things going against it. that eventually i decided that if i have to make it if it has to be made i have to produce it and that's how i you know ended up producing it but i was so much in love with that material that i made it despite knowing that the chan- chances are it chances of it not yeah, working it won't do well um so i've done a number of films like this like sir farosh was that rang de basanti yeah, my last film that's when true. i heard the script i loved it but i was like but it wouldn't have been a i, I don't know whether it's going to work or not yeah. Yeah, it's it's so dicey but i just loved it so i went and did it um probably a film like raja hindustani is a film that as i'm doing it i know why i'm doing it i'm doing it because i want i want to reach the like, masses the masses i want to go deep into the country you mm. know what i mean mm. I, and connect with uh, a much wider base of an audience i think f- maybe a film like fana is probably a mix of both for me you know it's it's more of a mainstream film yeah dan lagan or rang de basanti rang de basanti on the face of it however it's it's got a i mean the situation is so i mean you know what the situation is the situation is so potent yeah that that's what excites me as an actor yeah to be in that situation yeah you know for example the scene where i come to the house was the scene which was which was the big hook for me yeah yeah it was a big hook for me i thought that was actually quite clichéd on a certain level it is but but i mean i could predict that screenplay i was like okay the door opens and there she is <laughs> yeah i i know what you mean but uh, it's still um unless the story is what it is as an actor i'll never get to perform that moment ah okay if you know what i mean okay so to perform so you do moment, choose it according to your moment You do uh, choose a film according to the moment that you want no, to do I it. No, I don't. No, that. I mean, I'm just saying that one of the exciting moments for me was that. But I don't choose the film because of that. If you know what I mean. Uh, I choose the film based on what I feel about it 
on the whole you know how i yeah. react to it hmm. like i heard the script and i said i just love it i really like this film i i was wondering who's going to play zuni's role and i as i said earlier i had only one name i could think of for the role but i was saying uh, i mean after watching the film i remember thinking to myself that i don't think anybody else could have carried it off as well as you did yeah. not as well also i mean couldn't have come close to you i really think that you really made it natural you made it naturally made it a part of as you put it you really got into the head of the character you really mm. did hats off oh, so are you pulling my leg there and that's a true compliment before you can continue on that that's a real and true compliment i want to ask you something generally you know like i've seen you normally sitting on the sets and things like that and i you know when i first decided i mean okay for somebody when Kunal told me okay you know Amir is doing the film mm. I thought to myself that when I meet Amir he will be of a certain way mm. and uh, you were I I have to say that you came in with no expectations how did you do that mm. means like when I when I saw you when we when we worked uh, I mean when we met and things like that for the script reading and all that yeah you were very you were very normal I mean I would like to say you were very open didn't you feel that that you needed to didn't you feel that oh my god i hated her when i saw her and last when i worked with her she was not really the nicest person i mean when i meet her now what is it going to be like didn't you feel that you I were i was i was apprehensive about that because we hadn't met for years yeah and uh, i know i was i know i was i was thinking oh my god now what is he going to be like is he going to be like completely anal what's the whole deal i mean what will we do how will we deal will we deal together or not I mean, I did think about I know, it. I know. Adi so and Kunal I mean, were convinced that like there'll be fireworks and I mean, half through the film will be stopped and all that. 